Remember when I showed you guys the uh, DDM Dark Magician Girl from Dungeon Dice Monsters 2001 that was released in Japan only? And then when we got the English version, we didn't get any of the cool promo cards. Actually, I think we got something, but I don't remember what it was. But in that video I mentioned, I get super excited when I find specific like promo cards that pop up real fast before they disappear. And I try to hop on them before basically that happens. I'm so happy I, I heard about this right here. Fresh from FedEx. I just got this. And by the way, I bought like three copies of this because, you know, we got to try to get that 10. Uh, honestly, what I think what I might do is, depending on how the copies look, I'll probably send like one off to PSA, one off to BGS, and then either for the last one, I'll keep the game sealed, or I might just double up and send it to BGS. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, this just dropped in Japan. Literally, I want to say last week. And I, like I said, I bought three copies. And why, does, why is this special, you ask? Well, let me show you real fast. Let me pop into this real quick. By the way, I do want to point out that this game did get the green light in English. It should be released. I want to say they mentioned like what this year, something like that. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have the promo cards in it, but if it does, make sure you hop on that <laughs> and pre-order like you know two, three copies because you you know dark anything with Dark Magician Girl always ages really, really well. Now, as far as the format, Rush Duel, I believe it's like you can summon as many monsters as you want. It's like speed. It's, it's speed duel. Speed duel rules, but on crack or something like that, on steroids. I never actually played uh, Rush Duel, so I have no idea. I do like some uh, the card art that we've seen. You know, I saw the Blue Eyes that was released a couple months ago, and I thought about getting that. But honestly, I'm waiting for a English release first before I get into it. But like I said, anytime I see a Dark Magician called promo, I can't say no. Are they actually on the back of this box? I don't think so. I'm going to assume that if it has this sticker... This means that uh, it comes with the promo cards. I saw that Play Asia does sell these and they had like a fine print that says that they don't always come with it. Just keep that in mind. I, I recommend it going to eBay. That's where I got mine. And specifically when I ordered this, it said uh, Rush Duel with promo cards. So just on, on a look in the title, look in the description, make sure you're buying the right one. Because the last thing you want to do is just buy this game and then be stuck with this game that I don't even know if this will work on the Switch. I think the Switch is region free, but I don't know like if it like, you know, <laughs> will be playable because it's, it's Japanese only or you can't see it. I, I have no idea, like I said. I didn't buy it with the intention of playing this game. I, I wanted the cards. Okay, so this is what you get. And before I do all the setup and then there's like nothing inside. <laughs> Let me open this. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, they don't, oh. So they don't come with amiibo cards, right? Or is it inside here? Huh. I know there's a ver version that you get the amiibo cards as well. Maybe uh, one of the other ones I ordered got it. Or someone told me sometimes you either get the amiibo cards or you get the... I have no idea. I don't really want to give information out because I don't really know. But I guess keep that in mind before you order these. Okay, so you get this. These are the cards uh, that we're talking about. The, the Rush Duel cards. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, slice into this nice and easy so we don't... Um, do any potential damage because like i said i didn't just have to get, get shipped from like ten thousand miles across the world for it to be damaged here we go nice and easy whoop and here we are so the first card is i actually don't know what the first card is um it's probably for something in the later years if you want to let me know down below go for it this is not why i got this card or this this promo this is why i got it Ooh! And it's the prismatic, the, the prismatic hollow foil. I love the prismatic hollow foil. And also behind it, another fan favorite. We got pot of greed. Let me actually get these both sleeved up so we can get a closer look at them. But right off the bat, I see that the centering is just beautiful. Love to see that. Love to see that. You know the the uh, tricky part about getting these promo cards. Oh, this looks flawless. There's like there's like no scratches on it. Let me show you the pot of greed. Look at that. Look at that shine. Ooh. What is it with Japan whenever they print stuff and just have it be such good quality? I feel like when we get stuff printed here, whether it's in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, it's like they use their, their D-list machines to print it. And it's like, who made this? <laughs> Did this come from a factory of cats? Okay, so the corners, uh, if I can focus on it, it looked pretty fantastic. Right? This looks good. Let me get a closer look at my eyes so I'm not looking on camera. Oh, yeah, this looks great. The back is nice, too. Ooh, love to see it. There we go, the iconic look. But anyways, we're not, we didn't get this for the pot of greed. We also didn't get this for the other card over here, uh, which I will show you here in a second. I feel, like I, I feel like I know this, but I just, I don't remember it. No, because I, I assume it's using the same art that was in the original card. You can let me know down below. This is probably from something in the later years, or maybe for like the, even from a newer series, like an Ace Monster or something. Again, it looks great. This looks so good. 
Ooh, look at that. No print lines. And it's like a glossy finish along with the prismatic. It's funny, when I when I first got these, it was Shady who told me. Shady was like, I bought 10 boxes. Because Shady thought that, that basically you would have to just gotcha it. Where, you know, you buy the game with a chance of getting the cards. And um, I saw that, I'm like, I need some too. <laughs> so I just bought myself three immediately. But there it is. I always said, if Yu-Gi-Oh! ever did full art cards, they would be just beautiful. And it's just, it's kind of not fair that we don't have that. Imagine this and like the regular rules. I feel like full art cards could be an absolute thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, look how beautiful this is. And of course, we got one of the most iconic cards of all time, Dark Magician Girl. Well, who's more iconic? This might be a stupid question because I feel like everybody has their fan favorites. But who do you guys think is more iconic to you personally between Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician? Now, I know Dark Magician is like the face of Yu-Gi-Oh! along with Blue Eyes. But I feel like when it comes down to it, me personally and collectors... We like Dark Magician Girl better. <laughs> we like Dark Magician Girl way better. Let me get a closer look at my eyes so I can make sure that we are not getting um, anything that we're missing. No, this looks great. This looks fantastic. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna hit a ten. This is now. What I want to do is honestly, I think what I might honestly do first is I'll send these all off to BGS to see if I can try to get like a pristine ten or a black label. Honestly, if, if these hit. Pristine 10, not even really Black Label, but just Pristine 10, I'll be satisfied. Like I said, part of me wanted to send them off to um, to PSA and BGS in case one doesn't happen to get a 10 from BGS. But like after looking at these cards, there's like no reason why I shouldn't. Like look at that. Ooh. I can't wait to get my other ones. My other copies, I don't think even shipped yet. Um, this one this one like literally shipped when they got there in, ha in hand and stuff like that. But yeah. Again, if you want to get these, it's just called Rush Duel. Uh, it's in Japanese only. The game's coming out in English in a couple of months. I remember they revealed that when they had their big uh, thing a while back. And I assume what you want to look for is this right here, because this says three promo cards. Yeah. Notice how it says three, because I know that when you get the Amiibo cards, the Amiibo is like six cards, I want to say. But I, I'm pretty sure one of the orders that I got said both you get the promo cards and the Amiibo cards. I think this the one that arrived today just said promo cards. You get Rush Duel with three promo cards. That's what it said. So I assume they probably had like two versions. Maybe one was like a pre-order only type of thing. If you pre-order it, and these are just basically what they got in stock and stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to check out for yourself, the cards themselves, um, if I remember correctly, were like, you can get the whole three set for like, I want to say 70 bucks if you want to just get the cards. If you get the game bundle, it's like 100 bucks. But I know this card itself is selling roughly for like 40,000 yen, right? 4,000, 40,000 yen, 4,000 yen, 4,000 yen, no, 40. It's, it's like 40 bucks on eBay, so if you get just this card, you're looking at like a $40, $50 range, somewhere in that neighborhood. So, um, just see what's out there, read all the fine print, because again, the last thing you want to do is just get is get just this, <laughs> and then just have the game. And I don't even know this is going to work. I assume it's going to work because it should be region-free, uh, region but yeah. With that said, this is a little quick video. Um, expect an update in the near future. I am going to express this uh, once I get the other three, or the other two boxes, I should say, so three total. And then we'll probably do like a PSA return or BGS return at some point in the near future. We'll see. We'll see what I, what I want because right now the way it stands is I feel like with how expensive PSA is, I'd rather just send it to BGS. As long as I don't get the same fiasco that happened with my Lugia, it should be technically cheaper and in theory faster to do super premium with BGS than to send us off Express with uh, PSA. So I'll figure it out. But uh, best case scenario, we get a ten and ten in both, and then we have one more copy that's just there. So yeah. With that said, uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you a fan of Dark Magician Go rather than Dark Magician More? Any questions you might have, you can also tweet me at RhymeStyle and we'll go from there. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.